Okay, so this is the first chapter, first section. Um, these are the kind of basic terms and, um, I guess, diagrams that you would need to know to take geometry. Um, we'll start off very simply. Uh, a point, you can see right here to the left, a point is just a dot, okay? Uh, they'll label it with a letter, and we just call it point A. There's no symbol for it, nothing like that. For a line, okay, a line extends infinitely, means forever and ever and ever, in both directions. That's why you see these arrows here, okay? Now, if I put two points on the line, like this, A, B, how I could name this line is I could name it A, B, so use the two points, the two letters, and then above those two, put a little line symbol. So now the question is, can I go the other way? Could I say B, A? And the answer is yes. Okay? So that's how you would name a line. Line segment, segment means part of. So, again, if I label these points C, D, now this is a little bit different. Okay, we do C, D, but this time, instead of the line symbol like we did in the last one, we just put a segment. Okay? All right? And we can reverse the letters again, like that. Okay, so that's a line segment. Okay, array, I forgot to do ray. Array starts at a point and goes forever and ever and ever in one direction, okay? Now, typically what they'll do, okay, this is your end point right here, and then here's another point, whoops, another point right here, somewhere on the ray. So let's say this is E and F, all right? So now the question is, just like the line in the line segment, can we use the two letters? Yes. E, F, and now this time it's a ray, so we use a little ray symbol. So it's an arrow always going to the right. So it doesn't matter which way the ray is pointing. When you put the symbol above the two letters, it's always pointing to the right. Now, can we reverse the letters? And the answer here is no. Okay. The end point always comes, sorry for my scribble, first. Okay, the end point always comes first in array, so you can't reverse the letters. Okay? All right. Opposite rays. Opposite rays start at the same end point. They basically form a line if you want to think about it that way. Okay? So if I had um, G, H, I. All right? So you have a common end point, and they extend in both directions, opposite directions. So if I had H was my common endpoint, HG would be my first ray. And then again, it has to start at the same endpoint, so it's got to start at H. And now I go through I. So now I've got H, I, hi. Okay. So again, opposite rays start at the same endpoint, and they go in completely opposite directions. They form a line. Now, when you have two rays with the same endpoint, but they don't form a line, that's called an angle. And the symbol for angle is a little angle sign. Okay? Now, there's a couple different ways that we can name an angle. All right? Uh, M, N, O. Now, this N is called the vertex. That's where the two rays meet. Okay, It's like the corner point, if you want to think about it that way. So, we can name an angle by its vertex. So, we could just say angle N. Now, you can only use one letter if that's the only angle that has that vertex. Okay, and we'll talk more in a little while about, you know, multiple angles with the same vertex. But... You just have one angle, okay? That ver that's all, The N is the vertex of just that angle, so we can use one letter. Now, the more common way is use three letters. Now, what order do they go in? Well, the vertex always goes in the middle. So I could name this angle M, N, O. Again, N is the vertex, so it's got to go in the middle. Or I could reverse the letters, O, N, 
M. And you have to use the symbol in front because you have to indicate that it is, in fact, an angle. Okay? All right. Parallel lines. Okay? Parallel lines. All right? Lines that never intersect. So they never cross. And are in the same plane. We'll talk about planes here in a second. Okay? Think about um, think about uh, Route 271. Like if you're going to Mayfield or something. Okay? 271 South, 271 North. Run right next to each other, right? They're running in the same direction, right? But they're never meeting. They're never going to meet. Now, obviously, I get the curves and all that, but if you're just talking about a straight line highway, okay, one's going north, one's going south, okay, they're never going to cross. Those are parallel, all right? We'll talk about uh, planes here in a second. Perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines form right angles, okay? Right angles are 90 degrees, okay? Now, the big symbol for a right angle is right here. It's a box. Anytime you see a box in the corner, that's a right angle. So what that means is, is that these two lines are perpendicular, okay? Now, skew lines. Well, actually, let's do this. Let's do plane first. Okay, a plane basically looks like a four-sided figure, if you want to think about it that way. So A, B, C, D. This is a plane. Okay? All right, a plane can look like a rectangle. It can look like a square. It can look like, as long as it's got four sides, it's a plane. Okay? Now, when we talk about shapes like this, this is really going to challenge your drawing skills, guys. Okay? Now, if I look at, let's say, this here, and I look at this here, okay? Now, this top line right here, that is in the front plane, right? Okay, that's in that, that it's attached to that shape, right? Well, now if you look at that line, that line is not a part of that front shape, right? Or plane, we would call it. So these two black segments, okay, are in the are not in the same plane. So we would call these skew lines. They're never going to intersect. So they're lines that never intersect but aren't in the same plane. Okay, so basically, uh, the, this is just the bare basics. We'll talk about more basics in the next lesson.